trolling for a minute. Got some weird action on the end of my line here. Um, can't actually tell if I have a fish or not, and fail. All right, guys. Looks like we got something on. Maybe. Maybe not. Might have been a stick. <laughs> Probably a stick. Oh, no. That's definitely a fish. Let's see what we got. All right. It's like a rainbow. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beautiful fish right there. Got it in the net. Oh man, you guys. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Well, that is just a gorgeous fish. Beautiful rainbow trout. Holy cow. All right, well, I'm going to string this guy up. Keep fishing. So here's what I got going on. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try and give you a better shot of it here when we pull over in a little bit. But essentially, uh, I don't have any fancy um, electronic equipment. I don't have a downrigger. Uh, I don't have a fish finder or, or, or a depth finder. Um, so what I do when I'm trolling is right now I've started with a one ounce weight. I have a lure Jensen. Uh, Dodger flasher there followed up by essentially a wedding ring um, And so what I do Is I kind of have a methodical way of going about it. So since I don't have a downrigger I do pulls so this would be one right and so I get my line out just behind me check to make sure that it's all uh, in working in a row and then what I do once I got it out behind me is I start counting. So I always start with 30. So one, two, three, seven. And now I estimate that each pole is about a foot and a half. So with 30 poles, I'll have about 45 feet out. And basically what I'm doing is long lining. So eight, nine, 10, 29, 30. And so what I do normally is I'll start the day with a one ounce weight and 30 pulls. And I'll give that a little bit. And if that's not working, I'll bump up to 40 pulls. So that's where I caught that last fish. So we're going to go ahead and go up to 40. One, nine, ten. So with the 30 plus the 10, now I'm at 40 pulls. Um, at about a foot and a half with 40 pulls, I should have about 60 feet behind me um, with a one ounce weight. So I'll set that in the rod holder there and uh, I basically give that about 10 minutes. And if uh, that doesn't work, I'll go up to 50 and then 60 pulls and uh, maybe up to 70 or 80 depending on the depth of the lake and the temperature outside and if it's sunny or not. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll switch, uh, I'll switch out the weight to a two ounce and then up to a three ounce, usually not above three as I can't go that fast on my boat. So three ounce gets me pretty deep. Um, and if I don't get anything at, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 poles with the one ounce, then I'll move up to two ounce and then a three ounce. And then after that, I'll do the same thing all over again with a different lure or try different, uh, different lengths behind my flasher. So let's see here if we can catch another guy with this.
everybody. Welcome back to another adventure with Two Bananas Adventures in Gear. Today we went fishing and we did catch ourselves one trout there as you can see. Um, but it got super crazy windy and that little pontoon boat uh, can only handle a pretty much a slight breeze. So I came up here to check out a trailhead and by trailhead, I mean a spot where a road ends that you'd have to bushwhack to a lake. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this overnighter there, so uh, just scoping this out. Anyway, I found this really cool spot here in the woods. Super pretty, green, super mossy, and I figured uh, we'd cook up this trout and make ourselves a cup of coffee and uh, chit-chat for a minute. So anyway, let's get to it. Wow, I didn't even put a lid on. I think that literally took about 45 seconds. I used maybe a cup, a cup and a half of water. Jeez Louise, Jet Boil, you are fast. Get in there, coffee. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Oh yeah, that's good. We got our fish all ready to cook. Let's heat up this olive oil with a pine needle in it. And then we'll throw the fish in there, throw some salt and pepper on it, and we'll chow down. All right, we got that frying up. Also just wanted to give a quick PSA, don't be like two bananas. Clean and gut your fish in a safe location and then don't just go out in the woods alone and cook your fish in the middle of the forest. You'll get eaten by a bear. Uh, I am a trained professional. <laughs> just kidding, but seriously don't do this. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. I wish I had brought my tripod. But, alas, I forgot it. So, I'm going to eat some of this fish and head home. Uh, we have some more adventures coming up. So, as always, grab your bananas and head outside.